Hi my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a fun video inspired by my friend Jessica Kent. We're gonna do coffee in prison recipes. So I interviewed some inmates. I got their recipes for coffee. One that is nasty and it includes sardines and a whole bunch of these ingredients. Ugh. If you're interested in how our loved ones or inmates drink coffee and use what they can from the commissary, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I help loved ones of the incarcerated get through that experience. I wrote a book called The Comeback Code. If you're interested, I'll pop a link to it up there and it's always down in the description box. If you guys don't know who Jessica Kent is, I'm sure you all do. I'm genuinely sure you all do. A lot of you guys came here from her channel, but she has close to half a million subscribers at this point. She has an amazing channel and I will link it below and if I can in the cards above, but she is a prison YouTuber. She also has over seven or eight years of recovery Recovery. And so she talks about both her stories prior to prison. She talks about her time in prison. She talks about recovery. She helps addicts. She's a dear friend of mine and she has made it a personal mission of hers to help me help Adam get home. So, so much love to Jess. Please go check out her channel. A couple of weeks ago, she made a video about coffee recipes that she learned and did inside of prison. When I was watching her video, it reminded me of a story that Adam told me about his friend Daryl, who was awarded parole on his life sentence. He's a military inmate and in federal prison there are only three types of inmates that get parole. Everybody else does not have a chance at parole. So Daryl is a military inmate who had a life sentence who was after 23 years awarded parole. I did a series of videos with him. I will pop them up there for you guys to watch. His release date was pushed to July 29th, 2020. That is the final day that they're allowed to keep him inside. I remembered when I watched Jess's video that there was something to do with coffee and sardines. And that's all I remembered. So I asked Adam and he said, yeah, it was coffee and sardines, but I knew there was more to that. So I emailed Daryl and I said, hey, one of my good friends just did a coffee in prison video and I wanted to know your recipes and remember something vague about a weird coffee recipe you had. And he sent me two recipes that he named and everything and they both sounded kind of good. They had all these ingredients, we'll get into them. And none of them were the disgusting recipe. I responded back and I said, but wasn't there something with sardines or fish or something? And he said, oh my gosh, I forgot about it. He said this recipe had like sardines, oats, fish, all of this stuff. And I have the recipe right now here. So glutton for punishment here, let's do it. We'll start with the good ones, I guess, and then we'll end with the disgusting one because we'll save the worst for last, I guess. The first recipe he calls the fast ball. It's coffee, dark soda, such as Coke or Pepsi. Personally, I think it would be better with root beer just because coffee and root beer is like an ice cream float-ish thing to me. I went to the dollar store yesterday, but they didn't have root beer. So I got a Pepsi, got my Keefe coffee, this is hot water in a hydro flask. I heated my water when I woke up this morning, got distracted. It is now 1247 and this water will be just as hot as it was. I made it 200 degrees because I know that they can't boil water in prison unless they use microwaves. Adam uses a spigot and he calls it the 180, 180 or 120, 120. I'm not sure. It's definitely not boiling, but it's hot enough. Okay, so this is the fastball. I got some Pepsi. He didn't say if he heated this. So I guess I'll just mix the coffee in there. Adam actually does not drink Keefe, believe it or not. He gets Maxwell House where he is, or Taster's Choice or something like that. Obviously, it's just like this. It's freeze-dried and it's instant. I'll put a teaspoon of that stuff in there. I heard this is really strong. We're gonna be really, really, really jacked up on caffeine today. And that's okay. I didn't make this hot. But it is defrosting. Defrosting? No. Dissolving. There we go. Wow, bro. Wow. See? Maybe I do need some caffeine. I don't know if I should heat it. Warm Pepsi would be disgusting. Ooh! I like it. Ooh, I really like it. Except it's got a... Whoa. It's got an after kick. Woo! It's got an after kick. But it tastes like coffee flavored Pepsi, which is what it is. The only thing is I think it's the type of coffee I've never had Keefe before, but it's got like a weird chemically. I think the aftertaste must just be the Keefe. I've never had it before, but it's got kind of like a chemical punch in the mouth aftertaste. 
The second one he sent me is called The Foxy, and that is the prison version of Red Bull or Monster or whatever energy drink they have in the commissary. This one is called Rip It. I got it at the dollar store. Then you're going to take your coffee, any type of hard candy like a Jolly Rancher. So I went with Werther's because it's caramel and caramel is a good flavor for coffee. So we got that. We're gonna dissolve the candy in the hot water first. I guess that would make the most sense. So let's pour some hot water in there. You see that steam? I put this in there at seven this morning and it is one o'clock in the afternoon. So I guess we'll just wait for this to dissolve. Might as well put some coffee in there now, right? Put it all dissolved together. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. It also takes creamer. So I got this Ferrelli brand, coffee made-ish stuff from the dollar store. I'm putting in the creamer before I put in the energy drink. I wanna see if it tastes like caramel coffee before I ruin it with energy drink. I can only imagine it not tasting very good. It smells good. It smells like caramel coffee. This isn't all the way dissolved, but it's a lot of the way dissolved and it's taking forever. So I'm sure if this coffee water was hotter, it would be better, but I'm just gonna try it. I'll let you guys know. It's mostly dissolved. I can't get the spoon to pick it up to show you or to even see it for myself, but let's see if I could show you. It's right there. So it's almost all the way dissolved. It's good, but it's strong. And the kefi has a very, very strong flavor. I wouldn't say a bad flavor, but very strong. I guarantee that guys put a ton of sugar in there if they like their coffee sweet because that chemical is like bang. But also it's one teaspoon for a whole entire cup. I just wanted to put it in this little glass cup so you guys could see what it looks like. So that makes sense too. It's not a big mug. Now let's add the energy drink. Let's see what this tastes like without it. Ooh, it's really good. Mm. But it's wild lime flavor, which is really good. Oh, it's active mandarin and wild lime flavor, which I can only imagine is gonna taste delicious with coffee creamer and caramel. Good choice, Ro, should have read the bottle. Cheers. Okay, it's sweetened up, which is good. It's really not bad, I mean, I wouldn't choose to drink this if I didn't have to. I would much rather have my coffee black probably. It's kind of cool because the coffee's fizzy, like the energy drink. It's not my favorite thing in the whole entire world and it's not the worst thing in the whole entire world. It's just, it's okay. If I were inside, it was the only thing I have access to, I'd drink it. For the last one, I'm so not looking forward to this. He did not send it with a name, so I named it myself. We're calling this one the Psycho. When I tell you the ingredients, what you have to be like in order to get this down. Whew, props to you, boo, whoever can get this down. I'm gonna try. I'll probably gag a few times. When I responded to him and I said, remember you had like sardines or tuna or something in your drink? He said to me, oh yeah, I forgot all about that one. Forgot is all capitals. He probably blocked it. Yeah, when I was out on the yard all day, going from my workout to one of my classes that I taught to a sport or running or whatever, I would make this post-workout shake. He was a marathon runner, so he would run a ton there as well. It's oatmeal. Oh God, I'm so scared of this. Oatmeal, I just put mine in a tiny little bag because I didn't want to use a ton of my extremely expensive gluten-free organic oats. So I wanted to measure out just a little bit. Sardines or mackerel, I got this at the dollar store. They did not have mackerel. I do not like sardines, so this is gonna be fun. Oof, I'm already wanting to gag. Powdered milk, which we have. Peanut butter, Lord, it just keeps getting better. Cinnamon, oh, I forgot that downstairs. Okay, let's go with the cinnamon, hold on. Cinnamon, I'm out of breath because I just ran downstairs to get that. And coffee. I have a little shaker bottle here and we're just gonna pray. Oof, okay, I have to mentally prepare myself for this. So I guess I should put some hot water in here first. Are you guys scared for my life? And let's do the oats next. Let's do the peanut butter while this is hot. I just used what I had in the house. Obviously they wouldn't have, oh God, I'm making a mess and my phone's there. They would not have 
organic, creamy Maranatha peanut butter, but I didn't want to spend money when I had this stuff in the house, so mine's gonna taste a little better. <laughs> Is there getting any better when you have to mix sardines, coffee, oatmeal, cinnamon, oh lord. Okay, let's cinnamon it up. Notice I'm saving the sardines for last. Oh, that was a lot of cinnamon. Okay. Let's get you in there. God. See, up until now, this smells really good. Really. It's gonna be a day. I'm gonna have to go work out after this and I'm gonna have a zippity doo dah workout because I already feel myself getting kick from this caffeine. Worst for last. Okay, here we go. I can't even open it. If I can't open it, do I have to do it? Okay. Oh God, how many of these do I have to do? Oh God, I'm such a child. I don't want to touch them. Uh, do sardines have the bones? Oh my God, I'm just doing one. Ooh, you probably could have dealt without the sound effects. I love fish. This is a whole different level. What did I miss? Did I miss anything? Sweetener. Fuck it. Oh, there's no making this better. I swear I can handle a lot of disgusting stuff. I don't know about this. It doesn't smell fishy. Here we go. You could do this, you could do this, you could do this. All the fish is at the bottom. I saw it. I did not get the fish in my mouth. I got a little fish in my mouth. You got this girl, you got this. I've done worse, I've done worse, I've done worse, okay. I got some fish. All right, it's not that bad. Really genuinely. It's not really very fishy at all. If I needed to, I could down this. I was being way dramatic. I got in my head. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe when I got to the fishy at the bottom, it would be the worst thing in the world. But I guess oatmeal and fish is a big thing to stay healthy in prison because I don't know if you guys saw the video that I did when I tried Adam's favorite recipe in prison and it was sardines or mackerel, oatmeal, and all these different types of peppers. I did the same thing there. I grossed myself out. I did not want to eat it. I took a bite. I actually thought it was decent. Same here. I think I hyped myself up for this. Would I recommend drinking coffee, oats, fish, peanut butter, cinnamon, creamer? Never, unless you're in prison and you need to replenish your body with carbs and protein. And he is admittedly a caffeine junkie. He thrives off of it. So sure, go for it. But we have Starbucks. We can make our own coffee and it doesn't have to taste gross like this. Does anybody want some Keefe coffee? Because if you do, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do a giveaway for you guys to try prison coffee. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna try any of this. I'm laughing because who would? But let me know if you like this kind of stuff. I have fun doing these videos like this so we get to learn a little bit about what our loved ones do and go through while they're inside. I think that I'm gonna go now because I have the world's biggest caffeine jolt going on and I wanna capitalize on the energy and get in a good workout and stop babbling because that's what I do when I drink too much caffeine as you see back in other videos on my channel. If you guys wanna see another food challenge that I recently posted where I took the Choco Challenge and I also told a story about when I got hot pepper in places it does not belong while I was on job interview, then click that video right there. If you are new here and have not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you do. Click that little circle up there. I love you guys. Stay strong, love strong. See you in the next one.